Hey guys, Stay Patient here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the legendary weapon perks that a lot of the weapons in Alien Nation come with. So what we're going to do is do a bit of a slideshow of all the weapons that I've amassed so far, and hopefully we're going to be able to build up a list of all the available perks that you can get on these weapons. So first off, we have my current go-to primary, my energy gun that's got over a million DPS, and that's because it's got quite a large upgrade tree and I've got quite a lot of high level cores socketed into it. Now we'll use this as an example of how these legendary perks function. You're always going to have two lines of description. The top line will always say action or condition, and basically this is the trigger for the perk. So once you carry out the action, which in this case is shooting at an enemy, it will trigger the effect of the perk, which is throwing out a boomerang. Now you can imagine how useful this is, because the action that you need to carry out is simply shooting at an enemy, which is something that you're doing constantly throughout the game. So this effect of throwing a boomerang without needing to have a boomerang available is being triggered constantly and adding a lot of damage to your overall DPS. Now let's move on to our second example here. This is another energy gun, and this is a good example of a weapon with the term condition instead of the term action. Now the only reason for the difference here is that the word action implies something that you physically have to trigger yourself, whereas condition refers to things that happen in the game naturally that you have no control over. So in this case, we have condition damage taken. Now obviously taking damage is something that you don't need to trigger yourself unless of course you deliberately walk into enemy fire which can actually be a viable strategy depending on what legendary upgrades you have. And that will become clearer as we look at more of these weapons. So if you take damage while you have this weapon equipped it's going to strike the enemy that damaged you with lightning. Now the lightning is actually one of the effects in the game that isn't particularly visible but it does work and it's very useful. Of course, you need to actually activate these legendary perks for them to work. And the way you go about doing that is by popping cores into the slots from the start and working your way towards the perk. So in this case, the start point of the upgrade tree is in the bottom left there. So you put a core into that and that will unlock the one above it. Then you can keep working your way along to the right. And as soon as you put a core into the slot next to the perk itself, it will be activated. So now we can take a look at an example of the third trigger I've come across so far. That is action melee at enemy. So for this, you actually have to hit an enemy with the melee strike. And the effect is that that, that enemy will be knocked down. So it's worth mentioning here that, of course, these perks are only active when you actually have the weapon equipped. So if you can plan to have different perks on all of your three weapons in the different slots, then of course you can tailor your playstyle depending on which enemies you're fighting and you can make use of all these different perks in different situations. Now this knockdown effect actually works very well with the other two triggers, the damage taken and the shoot at enemy triggers, because that means if you're fighting a particularly difficult enemy, maybe he's got a shield up and he's shooting you with lots of bullets, you can let one of those bullets hit you just to knock that enemy down and then you don't have to worry about trying to circumvent his shield. And of course the same applies if it's coupled with the shoot at enemy trigger. If you can get in close, shoot him once, it's going to knock him down and it's going to allow your whole team to pile in and take him out. So with that being said, you've probably figured out by now that all these effects and triggers can be paired together in any combination. So we're actually just going to take a look at one more weapon before we move on to the equipment. And this is my current go-to secondary weapon. It's a revolver. And the reason we want to focus on this one is because it has the final effect that we haven't seen yet. That is the grenade effect. So in this case, every time I take damage while this weapon is equipped, I drop a grenade, which means there's grenades all over the place. And I'm not even sure if it's as useful as it sounds, because sometimes you get damaged by your own grenade. Now I've not had chance to test how this effect works when it's paired with other triggers. For instance, the shoot at enemy trigger might be quite interesting. I'd like to see if that results in a grenade being thrown instead of just being dropped on the ground. So maybe if someone has a weapon that is action, shoot at enemy and effect grenade, I'd love to hear how that functions. So you may be wondering why we haven't looked at any of the heavy weapons. Well, basically, all these perks are randomly selected from the pool of triggers and effects that we've been speaking about, but they don't change from one weapon slot to another. 
So the perks that you can get on the primary weapons are exactly the same as secondary and heavy. There's no difference between the different slots. So we've now covered all of the triggers and effects that I have access to so far. And if you guys have picked up any weapons with any different perks on that we haven't covered in this video, please let us know in the comments below and we'll add them to the list that we're going to compile that will hopefully cover all of the available legendary perks in the game. But the last thing we have to cover is of course the equipment slot. So let's take a look at our boomerang here, which has the speed jolt perk on it. Now this is the only perk I've come across on any of the pieces of equipment that I picked up. I'm sure there are probably more, so you guys let me know about those if you have picked up something with a different perk on. But this uh, perk obviously works differently to the ones on the weapons because there is no trigger and no effect simply because the equipment isn't something that you have equipped at any given time. You have it equipped on your character, of course, but you're not carrying it around in your hands. It's something that you trigger once the cooldown is finished and you have it available to use. So this speed jolt perk is basically triggered every single time you throw a boomerang. And I actually have exactly the same perk on the cluster grenade that's showing just below the boomerang there. So it's quite handy, you know, you can get yourself in close to a group of enemies, throw whatever piece of equipment you have there, whether it's a mine or boomerang or whatever has this perk equipped on it. And then you can quickly get out of there before you take too much damage. So there we have it guys. I haven't looked at every single weapon that I own that has a legendary perk on it, but we have covered all of the triggers and all of the effects that I've come across so far. So in the trigger slot, we have shoot at enemy, melee at enemy, and damage taken. And of course the damage taken refers to the enemy that's actually inflicted that damage. So whatever the effect is, it is going to affect that particular enemy. And then in the actual effect slot itself, we have grenade, boomerang, knockdown, and lightning. And of course in the equipment slot so far, I've come across the speed jolt perk which is triggered every time you use that piece of equipment. Now I'm sure there are more to the list. Um, I can't have possibly come across everything. So if you guys have got anything new that I haven't mentioned, please drop it in the comments. And I'm going to try and sort of put an annotation on the video with a list of all the available perks. And hopefully we can add to that over time. So I hope this has been helpful, sort of explained how these perks work. Just remember that you need to put enough cores into the weapon to reach the perk to be able to activate it, but you don't actually have to put anything into the perk slot itself. Also, the perk is only active when you are carrying the weapon in your hands. So if you want to make use of a particular perk during your battle, you can switch weapons to the one that has that perk on it and you can make use of it and switch back and forth depending on what situation you find yourself in. So there you have it guys, I'm going to annotate the video with a list of all these available perks and hopefully add to it if you guys can give me feedback and let me know ones that you've come across yourself. So pause the video here and you'll be able to see what's available. I uh, hope you're enjoying the game, hope you're enjoying all the videos on the channel, go and check out the rest of the content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon.